How did Money Man become financially free? We will be talking about his music and investments. Starting with some background, Money Man born Tyson Boulding is a music artist and entrepreneur first starting to make waves in 2015. He was born in New York City, but raised in Decatur, Georgia, where he found his interest for both music and making money at a young age. By 16, he would build a small home studio to record music, starting his journey professionally. He would gain some small traction in the early 2010s, but didn't see his career fully take off until 2015, making the past decade of hard work worth it all. Money Man has provided a lot of real examples in his career of what it takes to grow your business as an artist, inside and outside of music, which I'm excited to get into. Now before we talk about his investments, let's talk about his music and label. Going into music, Money Man has released 23 projects in his career so far, of which zero are studio albums. I have never said that in any of my 70 plus artists financially free videos, but that is one of the reasons that sets Money Man apart from others. It is important to note that he does have a 3 times platinum song, equivalent to 3 million unit sales, with the song 24 featuring Lil Baby. Those 23 projects that I mentioned all have been released within 6 years. Money Man has been consistently dropping multiple mixtapes year after year, which keeps his dedicated fan base eating. He may not have an official studio album under his belt for his situation that does not matter what does is his growing fan base that is willing to follow his career that is one of the most important aspects of an artist's career is if their fan base is willing to buy tickets and become more than just the average listener which money man has been successful at doing building a dedicated fan base is key for long-term success as for money man's label situation he has spent most of his career independently however he did sign to cash money records in 2017 where he released three mixtapes under the label. Less than a year later in 2018, Money Man got what he needed from the record label and wanted to go back to being independent. He would then spend $250,000 to buy out his contract, setting himself on his own journey again. This was a very huge and smart move by Money Man because while he was signed, he gained a lot more traction, building up his fan base, collaborated with some major artists, and now is back to having full ownership of his music all within a year. This man spent $250,000 to buy out his contract and set up a better future for himself. Respect to that. Now that Money Man is independent, he is continuing his consistent releases under his own label, Black Circle Family, which has the massive distributor Empire in their corner. To not only buy out your contract, but have a partnership with Empire, maintaining ownership once again shows the great leverage and negotiation skills that Money Man has that will only further advance his career. Overall, when we talk about music, Money Man has been building up a dedicated fan base after years of hard work. That is critical to his success because having fans buy albums, tickets, or merch turns average listeners to spending listeners that follow your career. It also helps a ton that Money Man owns his music, so he constantly is driving in revenue that way, which plays into him releasing multiple projects within a year. His music and label grind are very impressive, and he is indeed the money man, which has me excited to talk about his investments. For Money Man's investments, one that has been very prevalent in his career are his investments into cryptocurrency. This wasn't him getting into it when it became popular like we saw with a lot of artists. Money Man was invested in this back in 2013 when the landscape was a lot different. That's where he learned about the technology, invested, and since then made over 100000 from it. This investment has been mentioned in many of his songs or his mixtape, blockchain, which he became the first artist to be paid in advance in Bitcoin from Empire. I know that the crypto market has seen a lot of downsides over the past year, but with how early and educated Money Man is on the topic, he appears to be unaffected. The clear, big investment by Money Man is into himself and others around him. This can be backed up by investing 250 k into himself to buy out his contract, him growing his own food for a healthier lifestyle, or investing 100 k to his 
his baby mom for her to start up a business. By investing in himself, he has grown his career year after year, in turn bringing more money into his pockets that can be used for new opportunities, and what helps him achieve that is living a healthier lifestyle. Not only is he supporting himself, but he supports others who do so as well. One of the biggest takeaways from Money Man's investments, especially investing in himself, is that he uses rap as a tool to find more opportunities. That is key, especially for up and coming artists, because using rap as a tool for new opportunities that may not even be music related will build your brand, build your experience, and possibly bring some money back to your pockets. For Money Man, he is using rap as a tool to make money and find new investment opportunities. Overall, when we talk about investments, Money Man heavily focuses on investing in yourself to better your life and create new opportunities from it. He has taken some riskier moves like in crypto, but his early access and learning helped him stay ahead of the curve and bring in some good returns. However, he has talked about less risky investments, being well diversified in securities like stocks and bonds to make sure he maintains slash grows his wealth for long term success. This leads me to the question, what is next for Money Man? As for music, we most likely will be getting a new Money Man project sometime early 2023. His last tape, Blackout, dropped this past October and with him releasing every three to four months, something is definitely cooking. As for investments, Money Man still is heavily talking about crypto and his long-term plans with it. He is also looking for new startups or established companies to invest in. The money is there, he is trying to find what opportunities to take. I'll be sure to cover any new investments here on my channel. What is next for Money Man? Investing in himself to maximize his return. In summary, the success that Money Man is seeing is years in the making. He may not have the highest sales, he hasn't even released a studio album, but the dedicated fanbase he has been building up is more important and will pay out in the long term. Money Man is using rap as a tool leading to investment slash business opportunities with so much more to come as he advances in his career, already living his life financially free. And that is how Money Man became financially free. I hope you found this video informational. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe as well as let me know who I should talk about next. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.